so I quit. And because I was a group, a good forger is a good graphic designer. So my cousins, um, one of my cousins talked to her boyfriend who talked to somebody who talked to David McCulley or something. Mm. And David McCulley. Of the standard? Or who the used nation? to be the standard. But yeah. before that, he was at something called the Media Institute. Yes. So somebody speaks to him at yeah. the Media Institute and says, you're looking for somebody to design your expression today. Yeah. There's a young man over there, very smart, mm. who can do it for you. Mm. So I'm interviewed mm. and I get the job. Mm. So now I've moved mm. and at least David is paying me my 30 Gs. Okay. <laughs> I mean, David McCulley is legit. <laughs> he is legit. Yeah, yeah. And I've now moved into the legit space. And exactly. Uh, now that uh, my wake-up call has come, yeah, yeah. I have, you know, for the maybe six months that I was doing this forgery business, mm. I just didn't realize. Mm. Um, you were into it. I was into it. And, and that's how a lot of these young guys... Mm. That's that's how it is. You're caught in the wave and, and you're and, just riding it. And, and I think this story is important because of this. Mm. We now have a majority of young guys. Yeah. If we are not paying enough attention to mentoring them properly. Yeah. If we are not paying enough attention to creating the good models. Yeah. The problem is right now the the things that we do is kazi kwa vijana. Yeah. That's, uh, that's not the thing that we need it to isn't. be doing. Yeah. We need to create programs mm. that allow for young people to actually get legit business experience and exposure and modeling. And know that unscrupulous is not the sh shortcut. You know, the it's is not... right now yeah. is that look at all the guys they're modeling right now. Yeah. They're modeling politicians. Yeah. They're modeling against a guy who was a criminal yesterday yeah. becomes a governor today. Yeah. A guy who was G a what uh, drug dealers G where becomes governor becomes multimillionaire you know, even or something. multimillionaire. Yeah, yeah. they are traveling by choppers, mm, whatever it is. Mm, mm. Who who is modeling? And, and now you guys, <coughs> by the way, I'm speaking to you professionals. You professionals who are doing legit businesses, stay away from the media so nobody can actually see you. Us guys who work in the development space are very media shy. Mm. So nobody sees us. Yeah, and yet the stories that we have, and it's a legit path that people have walked. Yes. No one will see that. No one will identify with that. And therefore, the young people who want to aspire to something, they have no, they have no story to bank on. You know, That's they have story. nothing to... Anyway. If that, you ask a 20-year-old today to tell you who's, who, which successful people they know, they know guys in our top 50 companies, yeah. the safari phones, blah, blah, blah. Mm. They knew people like Akina Bokolimor and Michael Joseph and, and uh, Oigara of yeah. KCB and so on and so yeah. forth. And then they know the politicians and then the politicians are even more interesting than the Oigaras of this world because Oigara is not traveling with a chopper a that chopper. I have seen. Mm. But mm. this guy who was just a village guy like me is traveling with a chopper. Yesterday he was a village guy. Today he's traveling in, I mean... And that's and now you, and you Maxi, are telling me that I come and work for you as an intern. Mm. Then I slog and slog and mm. slog and mm. slog. Then I get a master's degree. Then I slog some more. Yeah. Then hopefully, then I will start making yeah. hundred Gs. Yeah. And, and you're and telling yet, me that that's okay. And yet now stories like this. I mean, you've covered just what two years now after high school, yeah. and yet now you're beginning to make a break. You know, and at, at times I think people just need to hear that. You know, people need to hear that. Yeah, I made. I made choices of this nature because I didn't know and I was into this because it was what was available at the time and I was I was riding this wave and I was consumed by it. Uh, but then I met a legit person in the name of David McCarley with Media Institute and he begins paying me. What happens next? So, mm -hmm. I'm working with David. Mm -hmm. <coughs> we are nine of us who are interns. Mm -hmm. I'm not quite an intern. I'm an intern in so far as writing is concerned, mm -hmm. but I'm not an intern in so far as graphic Graphics. design. Yeah. Graphic design is a job, but I want to write mm. as well mm -hmm. for the paper. Mm. Now, David... So wait, for the paper at Media Institute? Yes, at All Media right. Institute, they mm. had a paper called um, Expression Today. Expression Today. Yeah. All right. So this paper mm -hmm. uh, was a newspaper that came out weekly. Mm. So I, And it eventually became a magazine which might still be around, called E.T. E.T. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so E.T. is expression today. Mm. So I go working for David, mm -hmm. um, and and uh, I, I am legit now. Mm. I'm doing, uh, you know, I'm doing good work, and I'm I enjoying like what I'm doing. I like that you said legit now. <laughs> um, because, I mean, I wasn't legit before, right? <laughs> <laughs> My life in crime had come to an end. Mm. Um, so... 
so I'm doing this work, um, do, doing this, and, and David is a really good teacher. Well, mm -hmm. he's a teacher like those guys. You know those guys in the kitchen? Mm -hmm. David is one of those. Mm. You write something and he, he looks at this thing and he, it infuriates him that you cannot spell or that you cannot put words together in a coherent way or that you're repeating yourself. Mm. So you tear this little piece of paper that you've given him of something you've written, throw it at you and say, go and write better. <laughs> sort of thing mm. <laughs> and people would get very frustrated out of the nine guys who were interning mm. i think only like two or three mm. stayed mm. all the way to the end mm. the rest kind of left mm. i stayed right to the end mm. i stayed i learned how to from david how to write mm -hmm. i learned how to write from <coughs> the media mm -hmm. and so on and so forth mm. the other thing that i used to do even during my life in crime mm -hmm. is that i was a very because I'm reading a lot, mm. I'm living in this little room, um, this little SQ that was, I think, four by four mm. maximum. That's pretty small. A small room. Mm -hmm. um, on my mattress, I just used to read mm. um, and 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 write. I mm -hmm. tried to write, and mm. I was alone. Mm. Remember, my parents have told me, "Go style up, then come." Mm. <coughs> when you when you know that now we need to go to to uh, uh, Europe to go and if do stuff. Study, yeah then you come back mm. but me i've refused mm. so every time i speak to my mother she's like now look mm. what are you doing mm. you don't have work you mm. don't have a job mm. i'm like yeah but i'm working at this place or that place mm. and she's like do you see what karaoke has done mm. with his life mm. do you see what nani has done with there the, are a couple of life? other individuals to compare went, yourself against look yeah. at them they have already built bot plots mm. <laughs> you you are here three years two years down mm. the line you are still here doing this thing mm. but what i used to do is that i used to write every single day 1000 words mm. so i used to write it in longhand mm. and i used to write it about the things that i'm learning now remember that because i am not being going i'm in this nairobi i'm not going to university but what i used to do is i used to talk to my friends maxi you guys are doing what polisai okay mm. uh, what's your course outline Mm. So you give me your course outline. Mm. And I go online mm. to a cyber cafe. Mm. It used to be three shillings a minute those days. Mm. And I look for all this information mm. about, you know, what is um, what is uh, democracy. Mm. I search for the, every information I can find about what democracy is. Mm. Then I go home with <coughs> it, stick mm. it into my car mm. computer mm. and read mm. this stuff. Mm -hmm. And then based on that, mm. I would write. Mm. I used to go onto the street with my 200, 300 bobs and buy books from the streets. Mm. Economics 101. Right. Three, you right. Know, I yeah. bought my first Kotler book yeah. from the street. Yeah. I bought my first Andrew Smith book from, from the street. There. Yeah. You know, there's big economics books. Yeah. I bought them from the streets. Mm. Um, and I got to learn about economics, marketing, mm. And because of the fact that now I'm not in university, yeah. I'm just teaching myself these yeah. things. Yeah. Um, I'm educating myself. Yeah. So I am learning poli-sci. Yeah. At the same time, I'm learning econ. Yeah. At the same time, like I'm learning yes. bcom. Yes. At the same time, I'm learning whatever. Yeah. So I'm just collecting whatever age. information I can yeah. get. Yeah. I'm just, <clears throat> you know, mm. just picking whatever I can and mm. reading it. Mm. Because I mean, I have to be educated. And then what I would do mm. is that I would give myself based on what I have learned mm. and what's, what's happening currently in the news, mm. I would write this long digital essays. Mm. I used to call them digital essays. Mm. But I used to write them longhand on mm. a big black book. Mm. And then I would go into the cyber the next day mm. and, and type, type it them out, out and then put a digital, publish a digital essay mm. on mashada.com. Ah. Oh, wow. And RC Bowen. There used to be another one called RC Bowen. Yeah. And those discussion forums. Mm. All the Kenyan discussion forums. Mm. I did that That's every single day. A thousand, a thousand two hundred, a thousand five hundred words a day. And that's that. That's premium writing. I mean, you started. So two things come to mind when you say that. First is all the reading that you used, to, you had done when you know all the investment from your dad and all the reading that you used to do when you were young. It's paying off. Yes. Good writers are good readers. Yes. <laughs> so exactly. all of that it so has I'm, paid off. And now I'm writing. Yeah. I'm writing every day. Yeah. Um, and I'm writing in these discussion forums. In these discussion forums, majority of the people are guys in diaspora mm -hmm. who have been there for a long time. Mm. And they're seeing this Kagai who mm. they don't know mm. called Al Kags, who's mm. doing um, political 
uh, analysis, analysis in, of in the essence, day. Yeah, and you're and young. It is sound. Yeah. And they're even arguing with it. Yeah. And it is making sense. Yes. Um, sort of thing. Mm. And so David likes that. Yeah. And so he teaches me how to write properly. Now he yeah. says, listen, you, you're not writing well. Yeah. You're writing, but you're not writing well. The technical... There is a technical angle that angle you need that you're to missing. probably improve on. Yeah. So he taught me how to write well. Mm. Um, so I've been working for David for a while. Mm. And I've been writing my digital essays every day. Mm. And this is where something happens. Mm -hmm. The guys in who are abroad mm -hmm. um, have an organization called the Kenya Community Abroad. Mm -hmm. It's basically bringing together all these Kenyans who in diaspora, mm. KCA. Mm. And at one point, um, just around the time that um, uh, Moy has said that he's not going to run again mm. and there's going to be whatever it is, mm. KCA needs to organize a presidential debate. Hmm. Okay? The mm. very first presidential debate in Kenya. Mm -hmm. And they need someone on the ground. Mm. So I become national representative for the Kenya community abroad. Oh. And on that basis, I can go see ministers. Dude! <laughs> I can go see anyone. Mm. So now I'm going to see the Arailas, the Anyangnyongos of this world oh, yeah, on the, behalf of the diaspora yeah. to say, listen, we need to organize a, a, a conversation conversation yeah. between a debate. I go and see the the guys at Nation based mm. on this new job that mm. I have. Mm. I'm still working for David, mm. but I go to these other places mm. and I meet them and say, I'm from K KCA mm. and we would like to organize a presidential mm. debate. Mm. The all the media houses eventually come mm. come Together. round to it. Mm. Initially, they were like, I. Mm. And then eventually, they were mm. like, actually, that's a good idea. Yeah. So they all came on board, sense, yeah. and uh, we were now negotiating venues mm. and what's going to happen and mm. whatnot. Mm. And then a date was agreed upon, mm. and now even some of the the, the, um, the Okubos of the KCA mm. have come mm -hmm. to get back to Kenya mm. so that we can organize this together. Mm. Let's make it happen. Uh, we're making it happen. Mm. And then Kibaki goes and has an accident. Oh, which was, I think, in 2011, 2012? No, he mm. had it on the first, uh, 20, 2002, just before the elections. Uh, sorry, 2002, that's what yes. I mean. Yeah, two, just oh, before the elections, yeah, yeah. that time. 20, so two, he, has two, 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 two. he has that accident and yeah. all of us are dejected because that is not going to happen. <sighs> but I've made great friends in the KCA. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. I'm still working for David. Yeah. I'm still doing my side hustles yeah. here and there. I'm making chums. Yeah. Life is okay. Mm -hmm. Still living in my little mm -hmm. um, S4 by 4